Hey guys, it's Saren. So, after the disaster that was H2O No, we're finally going to get to my most anticipated episode of this entire batch, which is In Your Dreams. And in this one, there's a villain named the Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. Who is basically going to get into Little O's dreams and is going to turn them into nightmares. And so, I guess they have to try and... The mobile unit has to get rid of her nightmares, so... This is basically a dream episode, and it's one I've actually wanted from Odd Squad for a long, long time. Because after that, um, there was an opening theme in season one with the couch gag where Olive was like, and this is what I dreamt about last night. This is a dream I had last night. I was like, oh my god, you know what? What if they made an entire episode out of that? Dreams are rife with oddness. It would be perfect. And six years later, they decided to answer me. Um, and that's about six years too late. Um, I believe that's a federal crime. Um, I don't know if it's a federal crime in Canada. <laughs> but it's a crime either way. After H2O No, I'm kind of setting the bar in the middle for this one. I'm kind of like, oh, this could go very bad. This could go horribly. Or it can go really, really great. And... I don't know where to put it. I don't want to set my bar high only to be disappointed, but I don't want to set my bar low and then be like, wow, this is greater than I thought. Yeah, let's just get started here. Oh man, I'm tingling with excitement. <laughs> Fucking tingling with excitement. I shouldn't be, but I am. Let's just hop right into it. Little O did call us here, right? Yep, she said it was important. Then why is she sleeping? You know, this would be great if Oprah were in this position. <laughs> it would be great if Oprah were in this position, but it's not. <laughs> so exactly what happened between the time she called them and the time they rushed over there? Where even are they right now? That aside, we do get another nice view of this um, back room. We didn't really get good views of it, but now we do. It's like a dokahedron. I forget what decohedron. I, f I forget what the shape is. It's like a ten-sided die of sorts. Feather pencils? Pencils, pencils. Uh, whatever the hell these things are. Uh, more office supplies. <laughs> Sticky notes! A plant. Alcohol. <laughs> a small easel. A picture of something that's probably not important. Don't, don't. It's not gonna be like Opal and Elizabeth. It's not. And whatever the hell these are. Spoons? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're off to a great start. Saren, why are you talking about office supplies? Get to the- up. Shut up. Shush your face. Shush. Well, let's talk whatever he wants. My video. Maybe we should come back later. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Oz Brothers just like, eh. Come back later. Orla just takes symbols and goes like, Fuck you! Wake up, bitch! <laughs> so I strongly suggest that you wake the fuck up. She would be the one to do that, though, considering she was a guardian and she probably got very little sleep. You know, it's justified. I should add, though, that Eric Toth is the writer. He, he's, he's not a first-time writer. He's wrote for previous Odd Squad episodes. I can't recall which right now, but he's, he's pretty good. A little bit of a hit or miss. Kind of average, I can't tell. We'll see how he does here. I haven't slept in a while, and I'm really, really tired. Really? I don't see any eye bags. I don't see any wrinkles. Oh yeah, makeup. <laughs> oh yeah, makeup. That's a thing. <laughs> what do you mean in a while, though? Like, weeks? Months? Like, if you went without sleep, you'd die. Sleep is a basic human necessity. So what do you mean for a while? How long is a while? I need, I need specifications. I'll take some relish, please. Sure. A little more. A little more. She ate a poison hot dog and she fell asleep. <laughs> uh, boy. I mean, I gotta say, at least Orpid is a little more comedic than Oprah was. Then again, Oprah didn't get many comedic moments while well, she was the big O, so. Hello, little O. Oh, that's okay. I was expecting the Dreamweaver to be a guy, not a gal. So it basically is from that episode. Okay. I thought this cost. I thought this woman was gonna be an H2O no, but I guess not. <laughs> okay. I do, I do like this entire costume, though. They continue killing it with the costumes all the time. You wonder why they win awards for costume design? This is why. 
This is why right here. Look at this. This is like, this is so fitting. You've got like, a uh, space shirt. Little um fantasy elements right here. Something that looks like, um, what is it? One of those Japanese things that you hang over your bed. They give you your dreams and stuff. No, that's something different. Something different. There's something, and I forget the name, but whatever. Yeah, you guys should know what these are. Uh, who are you? I'm the Dreamweaver. I believe I can get you through the night. Yeah, I didn't even try. I didn't even try. It has a name. I was getting to it, but you interrupted. This is basically like what Katy Perry would wear in, like, the Change to the Rhythm music video. <laughs> Seems like something she would wear. No, don't say Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga would go more extreme than this. We all know it. It's my bad dream machine. All right, well, one thing we already know is that she's bad at names. Bad dream machine? You fucking serious? I mean, it, there, there's a lot more you could do with that. Make it another pun. And I'm gonna hide it in your dreams to turn all your good dreams. How? How does that thing feel? fit in any fucking what? Alright, you know what? I'm going to the library and I'm gonna get a book on biology, the human brain. I'm gonna look it up and be like, how in the world does this thing that's as big as her fit in the dream? How? How does it work? What the f- Does it shoot a beam? And it just appears? I should've paid more attention to fucking biology class. If you're having bad dreams, you won't be able to sleep. But if you're not sleeping, You'll be too tired to deal with oddness. She's clever, okay? Now you guys see why I wanted this in season one? Now you guys see? This is why. In your dreams. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> wow, Orpita, don't drop that title on yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself. That's exactly where I'm headed. It just fucking went in the side of her head. <laughs> it's like pulled some Tinkerbell move or something like choo -choo 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 in your head. That's it. Too much relish, right? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm going. I've already said something about this logo, but she shouldn't have her own logo. It's all in my dream journal. Whoa, hey, that's not an Apple computer, that's something else. What the fuck's that thing? What the- What's that fourth thing in that shit out of here? What the hell is this thing? Blah. We can use the data from the Dream Journal to help us find her. Hey guys, did you know that you forget your dreams just as quickly as- uh, Just as soon as you wake up, you forget your dreams? Yeah, well, they didn't. Orla, scan the journal into the computer. Scanning hole! Maybe I should try. These are the 30 different dreams I always have. The wait, the 30 different dream hold on guys, do you want me to spend a half hour picking apart all of these? Do you want me to? You dream of stock images from Google? Wow! I didn't dream of that last night. You know what I dreamt about? I walked out of a store and there was no one to take me home and I didn't have a car. And I and I missed the bus to take home, so I felt sad. And I walked into like this fashion store with all these like young people, and they were teasing me. And I couldn't get out. They were scanning people, and they closed the doors at like midnight. I haven't even gone to the mall in like five fucking years. <laughs> Point being, I certainly do not dream of stock images from Google. What the fuck? Actually, I heard from a friend of mine that you actually dream of stuff you think about during the day. So if that were true, that would mean that Orpita think, thought about all of these and then dreamed about them. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. I would have to look it up and see, but, you know, it's, it's, called, it's, it's something. Something to consider. And each one is represented by an image. Oh, it's represented by an I oh, that's why, because it's represented by an I okay. Okay, well, the sock image thing was just a joke, but I didn't, I actually thought they were rolling with that. <laughs> I actually thought they were rolling with that, too. Wow, you have a lot of dreams, and she's asleep again. It's not even, that's snoring patched in. That's snoring patched in as a sound bite. She's not actually snoring. Look, someone had to say it, and if no one did, then I will. If no one does, then I will. <laughs> Man, she just ca 
casually keeps symbols and hammers. That's probably how she wakes the other teammates up in the morning, too. She just walks in the bedroom, clashes the symbols together a couple times, and they all wake up. Orla is an early riser. Headcanon, ex headcanon accepted. What's process of elimination? It is a way of finding an answer by first deciding which answers are not possible. We can start by crossing the carnival, go-kart track, and garden off the list because we know the bad dream machine isn't there. So is it just going to be like continuing until they get to the last dream or to two dreams so that way two of them could go? Like, that would probably be the most reasonable thing to do because, you know, if it is process of elimination, wouldn't you have to find a pattern first? I'm, gl I'm glad we're introducing another lesson, though. And you're going to help me find it. How? It's not like we can go into your dreams. Yes, we totally can. Of course you are. It's Odd Squad. Coming in. Oh. <laughs> what? Bruh, it, put that in all the hospitals. Put that in all the hospitals. If I could lay on that thing prior to being wheeled into the OR for surgery, I'd be all over that. Needle in my wrist? <clears throat> nah, forget that. <laughs> I'm in a comfy bed. Um, who are you? Agent Obeka, Odd Squad Dream Scientist. Uh, there are dream scientists? There are fucking dream scientists all this fucking goddamn time and you guys robbed me of them? For six years? <laughs> the name aside, though, because Obeka is actually, you know, it's like, it's in the same vein as Elizabeth. Not gonna fault them for that, but pff, I could do an entire analysis on this, and you know what? I probably will. Because there is absolutely no way, I, I know this is a Saren's analysis slash reaction video combo, but there is absolutely no way I can analyze this in that kind of a video. And I can send two of you into the little stream. Why is it always pairs now? It's always pairs. Like, it was pairs in season three, but that's because Omar actually invoked it. And he's just like, yeah, we gotta split off into pairs now. You and I have been partners forever. Let's switch it up so everybody gets to know each other more. Like, are we gonna get adventures where all the four of them are together? Can we have that at least once that isn't odd off the press? Once Little falls asleep, I turn this dial. <laughs> Big Red's teddy bear! <laughs> I thought that was just for added decoration, but she's actually gonna use it? No sheets or anything! You would have to be seriously dead-ass tired to just fall into bed and fall asleep. If they're gonna show her falling asleep upright in a couch, not a chair, as was the case in the beginning of the episode, in a couch. That's how you know she's tired. Although, I mean, she already did fall asleep in the chair, so... <laughs> that's like, that's like an old people thing, though. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Great. I'm still struggling to figure all this out myself. But you're a dream scientist. This is your job. Sweet summer child, this is your job. How long have you been an odd squad dream scientist? <laughs> Because, uh, I don't know, you, if, if it's been for at least six months, you should, um, know this job by now. And just like that? She's asleep. Like an angel's kiss. No, duh, genius. Did you know that it actually takes the average person about 20 minutes to fall asleep? She did that in a fucking second. I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling a heaping pile of bullshit. Human anatomy? Fuck that! <laughs> Biology? Fuck that. I'm, I'm envious. <laughs> Insomniacs, rise up. Become envious of this girl who can fall asleep in a second. And meanwhile, I'm just like, it takes me like 20 minutes. And it's not even the deep sleep. Daylight savings time has fucked up my sleep so much. I have bags under my eyes. I look like a wreck. <laughs> I'm jealous of a little girl. I should be, but I am. Hang on tight. Oh, the jokes are kicking in! Oh, no! Oh! You didn't tell me I should take drugs before watching this. You should have included a disclaimer or something. Oh, wow. She actually makes an appearance inside the dream. I thought she wasn't going to do that, but all right. At least now we know where, um, where that photo of Osmeralda, Orla, and Omar holding up their shields comes from. Are we in your dream? Yep. You can tell because the clouds are made of marshmallows. She's always in my beat stream. Name her Laura, then you can do a Precure reference. You can do a Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure reference if you named her Laura. But sadly, no. <laughs>
And so I weep. Is that her over there? <laughs> you won't find my bad dream machine here on Squad. I've never had it at a beach. Makes sense. You never had towards a beach? Well, she doesn't like the beach. I don't know, I can't tell. My brain's like, blah, blah, blah. Please! My bad dream machine works perfectly around water. I wouldn't hide it here because of the sun. The sun? Sure, it's a kiwi, but it's still too bright and would damage my precious machine. Oh, so that's how it's gonna work. Okay. So basically, they're just gonna, boop, go in one of the dreams, find the dream weavers, she gives them a fact, mamooshes, and... They have their next clue, and so on and so on. All right. Well, at least you can't turn this dream into a bad one. Uh, yes, I can. I have a remote. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, she made a huge one that's big as her, but she also has a compact version. <laughs> that's clever. She's clever. Park on this overhead! She's coming! <laughs> that's actually really clever, too. Jellyfishes that serve as lightning. Wake up, wake up, wake up! What? You know, that, that dream that I described earlier, that was a nightmare where you didn't see me say, Oh my god, wake up, please. I do it naturally. It's called the circadian rhythm clock. What, what happened? happened? Like I said, she ruins all my good dreams and I can't sleep. It's hopeless. But you slept like a couple... Th well, that would depend on how much time has passed, though. Like, is it a couple hours? Is it like five minutes? Is the passage of time in the dreams the same as the passage of time in the waking world? Or does more time pass in the dreams than it does in the real world? Or does less time pass in the dreams than it does in the real world? You know, if you're going to have this, you need to introduce the concept of time. I know we're not being realistic, but I want this to be a little bit realistic. Come on, guys. We shall go from dream to dream until we find the machine and stop the dream weaver. No. No? The equipment is only designed to go inside three of Lido's dreams. See, now that's some bullshit. God damn it! You only say that because this episode is like... we. This is only an 11 minute episode. If it were 30, then they could go into the rest of the dreams. All of them. Not just the sparse three. This is why some episodes need to be extended, and this is one of them. And no, I'm not saying that just because I like it. It needs more, you know, depth and explanation to it. And you've already gone into one. You understand? Yes. yes. Awesome. I was worried you were going to ask me to explain why. I can get you into any one of my indoor dreams just by thinking about it. That's not how dreams work. My bowling alley dream. I love bowling in winter. <laughs> wow, that's actually a thing from the theme too. Wow, I didn't know that. It was the case in H2O. No, and it's the case here clearly. So all we have to do is find where in the world French fries in the streets fits in. Clocky, we're looking for a villain called the Dreamweaver. She has hidden a bad dream machine inside of one of Little O's dreams. I haven't seen her. Probably because I have a clock for a face. What is this, Frosty the Snowman, but it's Clocky? Clocky the Snowman. And now time to turn this dream bad. <laughs> it's always the thunder and lightning. It's always the thunder and lightning with her. Clocky? Hey, look! Come back! Stay cool, Lolo. Remember, it's just a dream. Alright, Osmeralda, you are a little kid, and you're probably around Orpita's age, but you can't fucking tell her. Oh my god! He's a little kid. They can't grasp that. Wake up. Wake up. What, what happened? happened? I really don't like spiders. Anti-spider gang rise up. So that brings the list of 14 dreams down to only two. <laughs> they be like, hey, you know, we can't go both. But she said she liked water. It must be the pool. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad that it's this predictable. I'm disappointed, but I'm not out outright pissed off. No! I hate to boohoo your woohoo. <laughs> oh man, you know I'm not I'm not usually a bitch, but when I want to be a bitch, that's what I'm using. 
That's clever. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh my god. Just remember, we need time to find the bad dream machine and take it. So no matter how scary the dream gets, try not to wake up. I think she was already asleep when you said that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Well, we already know from um, the opening theme that it's basically going to be all her nightmares combined into one dream. So, you know. <laughs> my indoor pool dream, where you don't have to wait an hour to swim after eating. You sit on a throne of lies. You don't have to wait an hour after eating to swim. That's false. I know, I swam in a pool after eating. It wasn't even an hour and I was fine. <laughs> oh, it's good. How did you find me? By using process of elimination. I don't really know what that is. Of course you don't. You're a villain. You don't have any concept of math. That's how they beat the villains every time. They don't have any concept of math. You'll never get it because I'm about to turn this stream bad and when little O wakes up, it'll be all. <laughs> so this entire thing is basically fueled by little O's fear of nightmares. Alrighty. I'm not I'm not even mad. That's actually pretty good. That's that's good. But as I said, some episodes need to be expanded on need to be 22 minutes, and this is one of those episodes. What? Randall the creepy fiddlers here too? <laughs> He looks like something straight out of a horror movie, actually. <laughs> something like out of the... Well, I can't really name a specific horror movie, but he, he does look like a horror movie character. We've got someone from, like, a Disney movie over here, and then we have someone from, like, a horror movie franchise. <laughs> this is way too scary for me. Remember, none of this is real. It feels really real. You can't preach that to a child! What are you guys even doing? Are you trying to preach to the children that... The stuff you see in your dreams isn't real, it's all a dream? Well, I can see now why this wouldn't work with Oprah, because Oprah would understand that this is all a dream. That all, e all of these are dreams. Or PETA doesn't understand that, because she's little and inexperienced and all that stuff. She doesn't have the, the um, I don't know what you call it, cool head? She, she is mellow, but to an extent, and that extent is nightmares. Then turn this bad dream around by thinking of all your good dreams. Okay, I'll give it a shot. We're getting an Inception reference? God damn it, guys! You're referencing Inception? This is my dream, and I'm the boss! Fuck you! <laughs> Actually, though, she's right. That's badass, though. Or Peter's about to kick some ass and take names. And she's all out of names to take. We're taking this bad dream machine out of Little O's head. Fine. <laughs> she, she says that like an insolent child. Like, fine. Take it. I don't care. I have an idea. <laughs> well, damn. Apparently, she has, like, a pair of symbols behind her head that she can conjure up and go, boop! That's it. Wow. I I thought that was just a funny running joke. I didn't think that would actually become a catalyst for anything else other than a running joke. <laughs> but okay. I couldn't have done it without your help. And I'm really looking forward to getting a good night. <laughs> I was thinking, like, is the mobile unit going to be the ones to fall asleep at the end? But no. <laughs> Eric, my writer tis of thee that I love. <laughs> it's not the dream episode I, I had in mind, but goddamn, if it isn't a work of art. Goddamn it, guys. You can't rob from me. You can't rob from me and then give me back my shit like this. You're going to have to give me an apology. <laughs> six fucking years. Six whole years of waiting. And it led to this. And I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm I'm very happy inside. That's it? That's it? God damn it. Ah! <laughs> they should have had the mobile unit fall asleep, too. We didn't even get to see what was in the mobile unit's dreams. We didn't even get to see what's any of their dreams. 
They robbed me again. <laughs> they robbed me, they gave me my stuff back, and then they robbed me a second time. So anyway, that was In Your Dreams. Yeah, even though the realism is like a very major flaw, I think the pros kind of outweigh the cons. We have the little O's dreams. We get to see what she dreams about. It's a dream episode, which we haven't had for ages. A.K.A. never. <laughs> and the Dreamweaver was actually a pretty good and clever villain. With a very good and clever plan. Yeah, the process of elimination Aesop was nice, too. A little predictable, but it wasn't, you know, so, so obvious. It wasn't like H20, where it's so obvious. It's like, it's, it's obvious, but it's not in your face obvious. It's just in the middle obvious. <laughs> but yeah, safe to say this is probably one of my favorite episodes of season three thus far. Without an absolute doubt in my mind. Yeah, this, this episode was a whirlwind, but it was a fun whirlwind. Definitely recommend it. A good solid seven out of ten. No, a, no, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. That's my score. Eight out of ten. I'll see you guys tomorrow for, um, or tomorrow at the time I'm recording this anyway, for uh, Mission O Possible. It's not impossible, it's O Possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.